everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over the idioventricular rhythm and the accelerated idioventricular rhythm. So the idioventricular rhythm occurs when the ventricles must act as a primary pacemaker of the heart. This means that for some reason the SA and AV pacemakers are not firing and the ventricles, the slow ventricles, are the first to reach that phase four threshold depolarization. So because we've seen all the other videos, we know that the rate is predictably 20 to 40 beats per minute. The rhythm is regular, but it's slow. There are no P waves, uh, no PR intervals, uh, no PQRS ratio, and the QRS will look wide and bizarre. So it'll be likely to be greater than 0.11 seconds, and there are no groups and no drops. So please note that this can occur when the AV node is completely blocked or when there is AV dissociation, which basically means that the atria and the ventricles are firing separately and without that nice AV nodal conduction uh, junction. So now I will show you the accelerated idioventricular rhythm, which is the only thing that has changed. The only thing that has changed between an idioventricular rhythm and an accelerated idioventricular rhythm is that the rate is now 40 to 100. So basically, the rhythm is regular. There's no P, PR interval, PQRS ratio. Uh, the QRS is still wide and bizarre looking, uh, greater than 0.11 seconds. There's no grouping and no drops. Literally, the only thing that has changed is that it is accelerated to a rate of 40 to 100 beats per minute. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today, and remember to like and subscribe for more content.